let's warm up. I always like to start my warm ups with a very simple jumping jack. Get your blood flowing and helps your body and your mind get ready for exercise. If you need to take it to low impact, right here. Absolutely fine. Take it at your own pace. We're just getting our blood flowing. Let's go five more. Four, three, two. Now hold it wide. Hold those feet wide. A nice shallow squat here. We're thinking about pushing back through the hips. Weights on the heels. Breathing. Just warming up. Not a vigorous squat here. Now let's go a little bit lower. Remember to breathe. You want to make sure you get oxygen to your muscles. We're warming up the entire body. Now watch me here. We're gonna hold it down, take those feet a little bit wider, turn those toes outward, and rest all of your weight. I want everyone to look down and make sure that your knees are right over your ankles. And just hold it here, stretch it out. You'll feel the stretch in your inner thighs. It should feel really good. Rock it out a little bit. Now we're gonna drop the shoulders side to side. Take time to push out with this hand and drop that shoulder nice and low. Really good, a good stretch there. You'll notice I keep these movements going in a dynamic format so that those muscles warm up. Now hold it to one side. Take that hand all the way down to the mat. Let that hip sink as low as you can. Really relaxing into that stretch. And give me a few gentle pulses here. And then we're gonna bring that arm up, really open up that chest, bring that hand as high as you can. Pull the shoulder down, relax into it, and just hold. Now we're gonna scoop that arm down all the way through to the mat. Bring that elbow as low as you can, circling that arm around, warming up the shoulder joint here. And we're gonna do one more. Hold it here, place that hand on the mat, shift those hips to the center. Drop that head and just shift your hips side to side. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember, we're concentrating on letting that hip fall down towards the mat, keeping the spine nice and long. Couple pulses here. This is a great stretch if you work on your desk at all and you're sitting all day. It really opens up those hips. And then stretch it up again, opening the chest nice and tall. Really push it up, pull that shoulder down away from your ear, and let's fold it down and all the way in. Big movement, you guys. Really move all the way through. And let's do one more. Bring that hand to the mat, shift those hips back to the center, side to side. And then we're gonna slowly roll it up, bringing those feet back together, big circles with your shoulders. Really exaggerate those movements. And let's bring those circles to the front. I want you guys to really clear your head of everything you're thinking about and just focus on you right now. All right, now we're gonna take big circles. And reverse it. And let's bring those arms across the chest. Turn the palms up as you come open. Feels good, really stretches the bicep. Again, we're opening up that chest here. And now we're gonna go old school, take those hands to the waist, and let's rotate. Just circling all the way around, keeping your abs nice and tight, but pushing those hips all the way forward through the movement. And let's reverse it. Good job. Bring those feet together. Now we're gonna pull those knees into the chest. Really tug, give them a good pull at the top. Stretching everything out here. This is another one that should feel pretty good. Now we're gonna stretch the quad. Watch me here, pulsing. Keep it dynamic. Push that hip forward and release. Quick pulse and release. If grabbing your foot's an issue, don't worry. You can just tap your heel and that's all you need to do. But if you can, grab that foot, give that quad a good stretch. Now hold it down, we're gonna open up the hips. Big circles out and back in. All the way out and in. 
This is one that the more you do it, you'll be surprised how that range of motion really opens up. All right, ladies, give me one more. And let's jump it out, roll those wrists. You ready? Let's go. Grab your bionic body resistant band and let's get started with a shoulder press. I want you to stand on the band, bring that up over your shoulders and lift and lower. Now keep in mind that you can control the resistance here with where you're standing on the band. So if it's too hard, just release a little band, make it a little easier. If it's too easy, bring that around and just control that resistance. You can always change it up mid-set as well. Exhale up, inhale down. Be careful not to arch your back too much. Keep those hips underneath you. We're almost done. Give me three more, two and one. Take that 20 second break, reset yourself, and we're just gonna do the other side. Try and stand kind of in the same place that you did on the other one. You want to make sure that you have nice and even shoulders. Bring that posture up, nice light grip on the band, and we're gonna lift overhead. Here we go. It's just 40 seconds here. One of my favorite things about using resistant tubes is that you can adjust it however you want. I'm using the 20 pound resistant band today, but sometimes if I'm feeling extra strong, I'll use the 30 pounds, but it's definitely challenging. And sometimes I don't get through the full 40 seconds and that's okay. Remember, it's not about being perfect. We're all about just making progress on every single workout. We're almost there. Give me five, four, three, just two more, and one. Let's switch it up. We're gonna take it to the lower body with a glute raise. So we're going to step, cross, step through. So we've got a single wrap, step through. Bring those bands up. We're gonna keep the legs straight this time. So fold that toe behind you, find your balance, and let's go. And if it's hard for you to balance, take that foot out a little bit wider. Sometimes that helps. But again, this is one that just gets better with practice. Squeezing the glute, it's not a big movement. You don't need to whip the leg up behind you. You're just squeezing the glute to lift the leg in the back. And we're adding a little bit of resistance with that resistance band. How we doing? Stay with me. You're almost there. Let's go three, two, and one. Hopefully you're feeling that in your glutes. You know what's next, the other side. Step on that band, make sure the handles are even, cross them over, step through, find your balance, bring those bands up. Take a second here before you even get started and just find your balance. Set your posture, roll those shoulders back, and then we're just lifting and lowering. If you lose your balance, try squeezing your shoulder blades together. Make sure you keep those abs nice and tight. That will also really help you balance. And anytime we're balancing in an exercise, you're working a lot more of your core than you think. Great for those muffin tops. Let's go three more. And last one. Whew, that one's always good because you can really feel it in the leg that you just worked as well, which is great. Want to know that we're working it in the right places. Let's take it back to the upper body. I want you to take the long side of the band to the outside and double wrap under the foot. Now we're going to stand up, grab that handle, and we're going to step over the band to work the triceps. We're just working one here. So really pull that elbow in, tighten your posture, and we're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now this is a tricky one to do for 40 seconds, so I just want you to do the best that you can with it. Nice and slow tempo, getting that arm all the way straight up over the head as you lift and lower. Relaxing it down, resisting that band so it doesn't do the work for you. 
We're almost there. See if you can get a couple more. Come on, and one more, done. Great job on those. I know those are tough. The tricep is a small muscle, but it's one that controls all that wave under arm, so we really want to work it. Let's do the other side. Again, the long side of the band on the outside, double wrap under, take a step onto that band, stepping over, bringing it back to that position, and here we go, lifting up and down. Be extra careful, too, not to let your back really arch out here. Keep those hips tucked underneath you. Try and keep proper form the entire 40 seconds. And if you need to, you can also reach up and hold that arm right at the tricep to support that angle. It's getting tough. We're almost there, guys. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me. Almost there, one more, and done. Man, those burn in such a good way, though. Oh, let's take it to the lower body. Give that upper body a little break. Stand on your band at about shoulder width apart. Bring those arms back as if you're in a really strong karate stance here. We're going to do a small squat and a little kick out just to one side. Here we go. Small squat, lift. This whole workout is about working unilaterally meaning we're working one side at a time, really forcing you to balance and find those imbalances at the same time. We all have a weaker side of our body. Just a little squat here. You don't need to go real deep. And make sure that you keep that toe pointed forward, not out to the side as you lift that leg. We're already almost done. Not so bad. And one more. Shake it out. We gotta do the other side. You guys with me? I know you feel it. We're almost done. Let's get to that other side. Take a second, take a nice deep breath before you get started. Bring those arms to that nice strong position. Let's go. Down and lift. Just a little pull to the front. Don't get lazy with that. We're working the upper body just a little bit too. Stay with me. We're almost there. You should be feeling this really good right now in your glutes, maybe in your thighs, and also maybe even in your upper body a little bit. And done, good job. We're going to mix it up. Next, we're gonna work lower body. Grab your handles, pull them nice and tight, even them out. We're going to go across the top of the foot, underneath, grab that handle, and find your balance. Pulling it all the way up, and we're gonna extend and release. Extend and release. Really keep your eye line in one place so that you don't lose your balance. And if you do lose your balance, don't worry. Step down, get it right back, and go. How are you doing? We're more than halfway there. Hold that balance, abs are tight, shoulders are pulled down and together. Relaxing through that movement. We're almost there. Last one and done. Let's do the other side. Remember, level those bands out. Wrap it around the top of your foot. Double it underneath. Hop on up. Just kind of wiggle that band. Make sure that's nice and secure on your feet. Pull it up, find your balance and go. Focus on your posture here. This is our last exercise, let's finish strong.
We're almost there. Nice deep breaths, finishing it up. Let's go three, two, and one. Wow, that one is tricky. Trust me, I know, it's hard for me to balance too. Notice I don't talk a whole lot during those. But you are working so many more muscles than just your quad when we're balancing through the entire core. Great job.